What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here and today, sec oh excuse me, this is the third routine in the Get Shredded series. Um, this is, no it's the third bro, it's not the second. The second is the dynamic cardio routine, we already did that. Dynamic cardio routine? Yeah, that's the second day. You fucking dick. This is the third. Yes bro, this is the third. I'm telling you, True. this is the third. Okay. True, okay? Shut up and just let me do this, okay? You always try to mess with the videos. Anyways, um, to start off this routine, since we are trying to get shredded, we are trying to get cut, we're trying to look better, because the Dean really needs us, bro. Like, <coughs> no, I don't. Bad. No, I don't. Bad. No. Um, starting off the routine, basic cardio. Um, in the beginning of this, right, because I'm doing this for probably like three months total. In the beginning, like the first month, I'll give you guys that guideline. Um, I'm doing just 10 minutes. Basically to warm up for this workout, for this specific workout. 10 minutes, stair mass. You guys can pick what kind of cardio you want to do, but just make sure it's steady state, consistent cardio. You could, you could walk on a treadmill, at an incline, stair master, um, go for like a jog, but fuck jogging, jogging's kind of whack. I would do one of the other two that I said. So, there's not a lot to work with here, as far as the warm up cardio. Um, anyways, I did 10 minutes, warmed up. I love cardio, as you guys can tell in this video. I love it, it's my favorite thing to do. Just do this. Yeah, I think that's the move. I think that's the move this season. Next exercise. So actually, this would technically be the first exercise because cardio is trash and it just doesn't really consider it exercise. It's cardio doesn't like, do anything, right? It's, it's, unless it's sex, bro. Unless it's sex. True. If it's sex, things happen. You can make babies. It actually feels good. Uh, cardio. On the other hand, on the stairmaster, like your hips hurt, your knees might hurt, your like shoulder like might be like fucking hurt. But yeah, oh, stairmaster, your shoulder hurts. My shoulder hurts. Yeah, everything hurts. It's just painful. It's bad. Anyways, first actual exercise in the routine, get shredded. Third day um, is the like a uh, like a like a like a. It's the cable reverse crossover. You're like this. So instead of like you going this for the chest, boom, right? You're here. Like I feel like I'm Batman for some reason. It's like what Batman would do. I said like Wolverine would do. That Wolverine. Stupid. <laughs> Damn. DC. It's DC, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Well, um, Wolverine. Marvel. Marvel is, is DC. Wait. DC. Mar Marvel. No. Those are. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Two separate things. Yeah. Yeah. Wolverines. Wolverines and Marvel. Is Wolverine and Marvel? <laughs> yeah. Did it know? It is. Well, he's Marvel. X Men. Marvel. Okay. Yeah, DC. Then DC is Batman. DC is Batman. Yeah. Superman's Batman. Superman. Yeah. Wait. No. Stop fucking Good with question, me, bro. Bro. Superman versus Batman. Back to the workout. Okay. Anyways, so the reverse cable flies, guys. Um, when you're doing this, I want you guys to remember that like, it's not about how much weight you can pull because this is like a kind of movement that we're not trying to hit our back. Like we're not trying to like destroy our back. We're not trying to destroy our traps and our rhomboids. We're trying to keep it light. So loosen a grip on your thumb and do it like you would if you were doing like a seated. Uh, rear delt fly on a machine. It's not about coming all the way back and squeezing super hard. Keep your hands light and just pull across so you can feel a good contraction in like your rear delt in your upper back, like your upper shoulder area. Uh, upper shoulder area. Just think about you want it up here, not like in the middle of your back. You don't want it tight. You don't need a super high arch. Just keep your body upright. Keep your chest up. Don't arch too hard. Keep your feet nice and planted. Um, and I'm doing three sets, 15 reps probably is what I'll max out there. And just focus on the contraction, warming up my shoulders for the next movement, um, which is, as Nadine was going to tell us, go ahead. Side lateral. Side laterals, that's right. So side laterals, and I did this seated. I did the seated variation just because, you know, I had a little extra food last night and I was like, damn, I don't know if I want to stand and like rock and pfft, my belly, you know, that happens to you all the time. But anyway, so the seated lateral raises, key points here guys, focus on doing this, this one thing. Keep your elbows above your hands. If you guys watch my past videos for shoulder stuff, I've said the same thing, but I'm gonna reiterate it again because it's so damn important and everyone knew, uh, you guys gotta hear it too. When you're doing this lateral raises, whether you're seated or standing, keep your elbows above your hands. You don't wanna be looking like this when you do it, okay? Think about like, almost like ropes attached to your elbows, pulling you up here, and let your hands kinda just grip the weight like ropes, okay? Instead of like gripping it hard and pulling your hands up. Stay here. So get more, your, your whole shoulder will feel better. You get a bit of pump. All right, and so for the side laterals, make sure you guys do three sets, 10 to 15 reps. Give yourself like a minute rest in between, okay? Moving on, next exercise, the standing push press. Um, and this is, in this routine, is probably my favorite exercise here. 
total body routine, one of the routine, one of the total body routine, total body exercise. One of the exercises that's gonna make you feel the most powerful, the most athletic. Um, in, in my opinion, the best exercise in this routine itself, so don't skip out on it. Um, the important things to focus on, if you guys have not done this movement before, um, besides the fact that we're gonna do five sets, uh, 10 to 15 reps, the most important things as far as the exercise is to keep your body upright, okay? So when you're doing this movement, you shouldn't be like falling forward with the barbell, leaning too far backwards with the barbell, you should be upright. The weight should be evenly distributed on your feet. Um, and what you're thinking about is keeping, if you guys can get it all the way down to your clavicle, letting the weight sh like basically jump off your chest, meaning like, you guys are holding it against here down in your chest, right? Or as stationary as you can. If, if you can't get it all the way down your clavicle, just keep it against your hand, right? Don't keep it up here. Like, don't be like ready to press it already. So you guys can see me in the video. What I'm thinking about is letting it rest on my clavicle. Again, if you guys can't get all the way down that low, as far as like from shoulder mobility, just keep your hands relaxed down. Like, don't try and press the weight up as you're dipping down. This is a really like technical, intensive move, but the, the things to focus on, again, Feet planted nice and even, okay? Weight distributed evenly across the feet. Keep the barbell against your body because what you're doing is you're using, you're using the momentum of like the upward thrust or the drive to get the bar to start traveling. You don't want the bar to start traveling before you actually give it that hip thrust, okay? So you guys can see my feet and my legs. I'm dipping straight down. The weight is coming down with me. And then as, as soon as I press up, almost like I'm gonna jump, then the weight will start to travel up. So you guys wanna use that momentum to get that initial drive, right, from the floor to get the weight up and over your forehead. And as soon as you can, push your head through and push the weight directly over your body. And you're gonna finish locking out your triceps, keeping your body nice and tight. Bring it down slow, all the way down to the starting point again before you dip down. So again, the important thing is use the momentum of your body. Like, if you're going like this, like for example, if you're dipping down and you're already pressing up, you have, no, you have no upward momentum to use like from the floor, from your hips, from your legs. And the point is we're not doing just a strict military press. We're trying to use the leg drive to get the weight to start moving. And all you're thinking about is dynamically letting it start moving, get under the weight, contract, take it down slow, right? You'll be able to do many more reps than you could if you try to just like strict bar press, you know, 315 or whatever you guys are doing. Um, again, in this routine, hands down, the best exercise, do not skip out on it. Start light if you have to but try and get the movement down. Like watch my feet, watch the way I'm doing it. That's the most important thing to think about is the weight traveling from the momentum of your body, not like your body coming down and the weight's trying to go up at the same time. It's, it's awkward. So next exercise, go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, Nadim, <laughs> clearly, man, you're just, you're on top of this because you're actually trying to like, what this? You're actually trying to, you're actually trying to do this. <laughs> your belly, bro, you're losing weight now. Anyways, um, the Arnold press, okay? Of course I had to put the Arnold press in there because, I mean, that's my homie, you know, we go to church on Sundays and stuff. Press? No, Arnold. No, that's your homie, Press. No, Arnold. You don't know Arnold. Schwarzenegger. No. Ask him. Tweet him. Tweet him. Yeah. Tag him on Instagram. The hey, you know, Brian Martin. Oh, that church bitch? on Sundays. Yeah, yeah. That bitch. Yeah, right. Anyways, the Arnold press. When you guys are doing this, I did it seated again. Do it seated, um, just because the push press is going to take some out of you, some out of your legs. Do it seated. Um, the Arnold press, if you guys haven't done this, one of my favorite exercises for the shoulders, hands down. Um, and what you guys are thinking about, get a weight that you can control. The weight shouldn't control you in this movement. But what you're doing, instead of like a typical military press, you're letting your elbows rock in. And here's important, here's the key. Wherever your elbows are, right, wherever your elbows are, the weight should be directly over it throughout the whole movement. So if you're bringing your elbows in, the weight is going to stay over your elbows, right? You shouldn't do one of these. Your, the weight shouldn't dip in, then your elbows come in. Your elbows are gonna your elbows are gonna be under the weight the whole time. So as you come in, you kinda what you're doing, what, what I'm doing in the bottom is I think I'm about squeezing my chest. Get that extra chest pump in there, even though it's not chest day. I said fuck it, I'm gonna hit chest anyways. Every day is chest day now? Mm -hmm. And then I drop down these curls and then I finished it. No, I didn't. But I would if I could. If I could I mean I could, but I didn't. No. I didn't want to. It was me not wanting to. So anyways, you're here, boom, right? And keep the weight over your elbows as you transition and squeeze your chest. And you're gonna finish like the weight's gonna be, your palms are gonna be facing you. And then as you press up and out, your palms will slowly rotate and then just turn to a typical overhead press. And again, make sure the weight is over your body, like not in front. You don't wanna be like this. Now you want the weight to be over your body. Boom. You guys can see it in the video. Um, sets and reps, bro, why you forget? Cause this is, your, this is your workout plan. Yeah, but why you forget the sets and reps? You're supposed to keep track of those. Like no, there's a lot just of shit. Me. There's some, look at how much shit is in this thing, bro. How am I supposed to remember all this, like, to reiterate, like, regurgitate? What do I look like, a fucking, uh, 
parrot? Margaret? Parrot? parrot? <laughs> you look like a fucking parrot? Yes. Bro, I'm uh, not a parrot. A, a pink shirt. It's salmon, dog. It's a salmon shirt. Salmon, dog? I've never heard no, of it. No, it's a... This is why everyone hates you, bro. Nobody hates everyone you. Everyone hates you. Nobody hates anyway, you. Anyway, so look, there's all this stuff. I can't remember all this stuff specifically. So, because I have, I, in the in the ebook, you gotta see there's more detailed explanation about what exactly I'm doing. I just can't, like, I can't parrot all that shit the whole time. Oh, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit. I'd be like fucking reciting a damn, like, Bible of getting gains and getting shredded, which is this. That's the. That's the get shredded ebook. I don't wanna fucking recite the Bible. Why'd you make me buy it? Bro, because you need to lose some weight. No, I mean, but you could have just, like, shared it or, like, I did. And you're like, I want to pay you for this. It's so good. And I was like, bro, it's okay. I got you. You're like, no, I want it. And and because I pay you so much money, we bought you a car. Show him the car. No, no, no. Show him your car. Wait, where is that? Uh, there it is. Where's the Ferrari? There it is. Oh, that. It's not the Ferrari. The Corvette. Yeah, yeah. That's my car. Anyways. So, not this one. Not the not the Kia Soul. No. Um. <laughs> anyways, so for the Arnold Press guys, let's bring it back to reality here. You're doing three sets, eight to 12 reps with a minute rest, okay? Um, the wide grip neutral cable rolls is next. Um, and this is cool because, you know, you guys are like, but it's not bag day. Every day's fuck, every day's every day. Okay, today's today. Tomorrow's tomorrow. No, but the wide grip neutral back row is really dope for a rear delt, ex rear delt exercise. And that's what we're focusing on. And that's what you guys should focus on because most people who work on building their shoulders only focus on building their front delts and not enough the back to, to maintain that good posture and that good balance. So. Rear delt rows, nice and wide. Keep your elbows high. Don't pull your elbows low, otherwise you're gonna engage more of your lats. Keep your elbows like coming up almost towards your shoulders, and it's gonna burn this shit out of your rear delts. That's what we want. Next exercise, I think this. I think we can consider this like the king of all exercises. What do you think? This next exercise. Do you remember what it is? <laughs> no, I, I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm, right, I'm, right, I know right, what it is. Right, right, right. No, no, no. Okay, it's a standing barbell curl. Okay. I was just gonna get the sets and reps for them. You, you douchebag. God, look, see. Same barbell curl. Same right after the wide group neutral row. So five sets, 10 reps, one minute rest. Now this is the king of all exercises, as you guys know. Um, just because arms are the cornerstone of everyone's body. Like it's the most important muscle. The, the heart, most functional. The, yeah, it's the most functional, the most, like the heart is good, but eh, you know, like other muscles and shit are important, but the bicep is the, important term. Is the most important this muscle. Important term. No, the most important this muscle. It's. Education is important, important but biceps, biceps are more important than her. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, I mean, let's be real, like, it is the most important muscle. True. So, Sandy Barbara Carroll. Right, right, imagine this girl scenario. There's a girl over there. You want to get her number? Yeah, imagine there's a girl over show there. Show your bicep. Show your bicep. All right, bro. Bam. I got it. Boom. Got oh, okay, it. I'll see you later. Okay, 7 o'clock. All right, cool. Easy. That's important. Easy, simple. Well, I mean, how are you going to procreate if you don't have biceps? Yeah, you're not. You're just not. It doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, that's dumb. Well, that's every single person in history. Yet. Well, that's not true. Never mind. He doesn't have a kid. Who? Dumb. He has a puppy. Doesn't count, bro. Okay. You're not gonna say your uh, like puppy's like a child to you. Of course, Bam's like a child to me. There you go. But I didn't birth it. Technically, you did. <sighs> Came out of your vagina. Disrespectful. You're wearing a pink shirt, bro. It's salmon, dog. <laughs> God, you're so annoying. Well, right, back to the workout. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. It's like ten minutes. Okay, long. so the sorry. So the Sandy Barber Curl Cornerstone, obviously, most important day. Every day, I do it every day. You don't have to, but today you're doing it. Um, I, it's like it's weird telling them how to bicep curl because I feel like if they've gotten this far on my channel and in life, they already know how to do a good fucking bicep curl. And this is the key: use just your fucking biceps. Okay. What about your hips? What about your legs? Okay. Or? You okay? This is what you guys think about when you're standing. All right, I'm gonna break it down for you real quick. Think about driving your heels into the floor, like, and squeeze your glutes, right? So you're like this, so you're just like upright, like just tight. So your glutes are tight, your heels are pressing to the floor, and everything up here tight, your chest is up, and just keep your elbows in the same spot, and then just boom. And every once in a while, you're gonna like use a little bit of the hips, but as soon as you can not use the hips, like if you use them a little bit and you can get it moving, okay, say so like let go of the hips, squeeze them, keep them tight, and just follow through with the bicep. And contract the shit out of them. And, and another thing too, if you can get it up down, if you can get it up fast, right, if you can get it up at all, take it down slow, let it burn, let it hurt, because that's how you're gonna build the biceps. And it's the fucking, the USPS guy who sucks delivering everything, and I fucking hate these people. Like, he's over here delivering something, he probably delivered like 10 of my packages. And I probably get tweeted by like 100 people like, yo, where's my shit? And I'm like, fuck, and I'm like calling up that motherfucker, and he's like, sorry bro, I wasn't even working today, but that's him right that there. That specific one? That's him right there. One of the stone bottom in Australia. He goes to Australia? That's the guy. That's the guy. I fucking hate that guy. Let's go find him and beat his ass. I want to fight him. 
All right, next exercise is the JM press. Oh, oh, the JM press. Okay, the JM press. In the and in the ebook, it's a little different, but in the video, guys, because it's a JM press to a close grip. But I'm showing you guys the JM press. So the JM press is, I would say, as far as helping me build my bench stronger, because my triceps were the weaker part of my bench at a time. The JM press is that is that move is the one is the one. So not only are we like trying to get shredded, but we're trying to maintain strength. That's a key in this routine, and I want you guys to understand that because we don't want to just get shredded and be like, "Nah, I'm a weak bitch," and all I can do is take selfies in front of cars and shit. And I don't want that. Like I want you guys to be able to like take selfies in front of cars and then lift the car. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want to just be like, "Look at me, I got abs, but I can't actually do shit." But I'll be like, "Okay, I got abs, and I can actually lift up your girl." And we're going that way, and we'll see you later, Nadim. Sorry, where's your girl, bro? She's mine now. Uh, she's inside. All right, well, we'll find her later. Yeah, okay. So. Well, I can't lift up your girl. What are you saying? My girl's fat? Yeah. My girl's not fat, bro. Well, why, why else would you need to maintain strength? The 100 pound girls, 150 pound girls, it's not heavy. You're saying, like, oh, you need to build strength and stay cut so you lift girls, right? Why would you need to lift like 400 pounds? Because it's awesome. What do you mean? Oh, you like, okay, you like the big yeah. ones. Okay. So, anyways, I like to lift up heavy girls. Was there like big girls need love too, bro? Why are you an asshole? I'm not an asshole, bro. Anyways, the JM press, hands down, one of the most dopest exercises for building tricep strength. So, it's gonna get you better at overhead pressing if you're doing strict pressing, barbell bench pressing, dumbbell bench pressing. Um, you're building like that, that, that mean strength, like that man strength. Okay, it's not like not to be confused with the skull crusher because it's different. Skull crusher is like where you're going like this. And you're just pivoting right here in your elbow, okay? The JM press, you guys are thinking like if you do a push up against a wall, it's like you're going like this and you're dipping your face right to it. So your elbows will dip down, right? Your elbows aren't going to be up here and say in one spot. When you guys are doing the movement, everybody's built differently. So like your, 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 your bone structure is going to be different, okay? You just want to think about bringing the weight like down straight to your face. So your elbows will dip down, okay? The elbows don't got to stay up here. Your elbows will be, so if you're in like a close grip bench press, like your close grip, but instead of benching it, all right, you're gonna bring the barbell straight down to your face. So it'd be like right across your, your lips or your nose, depending on your own bone structure, okay? But it's here, right? We're not doing this. Okay, big difference. From here, boom, and it's, it, it's a press. Okay, you guys will see in the video, so you guys watch it over a few times to understand what I'm doing. But the things for you guys to think about is keep your elbows, like, uh, keep them moving and keep your wrist in one spot so like as you're bringing the weight down you don't want to go like this you don't want to curl your, your wrist like this keep your wrist here keep your wrist like i don't know how else to describe this but ahead of the barbell so you shouldn't be like the barbell shouldn't be like here like limp wrist the wrist should be tight so you bring it like this and you contract the shit out of your triceps at the top good contraction um that one is be a little bit longer rest that'll be a minute half rest um let's get the exact stuff on though i'm telling you man it's like i'm not a parrot that girl just drove by and was like smiling the shit out of you. Yeah? She was driving in your car that's not yours. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so again, it was five sets. I said it earlier, five sets, ten reps. Minute rest. Minute minute 30, depending on how heavy you go. I did 135, but for me, it's not that heavy. You guys don't need to do that. You guys can do it like, um, you know, barbell and tans or something like that. Work, work the movement first before you start to like implement it in the routine. Like try and go and run through it. Make sure you understand like you're going to feel pressure from here, you're gonna feel pressure from like the top of your elbow, to the bottom of your elbow, like to the middle of your tricep. Okay. I wish they were here so I could like show them. I have a seminar. I'm gonna have a seminar. Don't worry. And we're gonna have so much fun. And all we're gonna do is hit arms. Because fuck it. <laughs> now the next movement. Oh my god! It just keeps getting better. Getting better. Let me guess. Guess what? It's a curl. Bro, it's not just a curl. It's not just a curl. Okay, uh, it's a hammer curl. It's like a hammer rope curl, a rope hammer curl. You gonna explain it? You want me, you want me oh, to you got, No, you gotta drop the mic. The mic. Oh, I'll drop my phone. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Nah, bro, I need this for stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a phone. Sorry. Of course you do. <laughs> um, so the hammer rope curl again. This is like the, the same the same tactics I gave you guys for the standing overhead push press. No, actually, sorry, not the push press. The standing barbell curl is the same thing. So you guys think about driving your feet into the floor, stay nice and tight, keep your glutes tight. And this is like instead of curling like you would typically like straight up, make sure you got your shoulders set. So pull your shoulder blades back, keep your shoulder blades tight. 
okay? So they're in one spot. So they're not going like this as you're curling. All right, you don't want your shoulders like rotating and shit. Keep your shoulder blades back. And you guys can see in the video, all I'm thinking about doing is from the bottom position without pausing, come to the top and like pull, because you guys have the rope handles, pull the rope handles out like this. Think about like, I don't know. It's kind of like a weird thing to show them without the ropes. But you're doing this, okay? I don't really, I don't even want to make jokes about this movement. So I'm not gonna do it. But think about keeping your lower body tight and stable at one spot and pull the ropes out. So you're you're kind of looking kind of finishing here. All right, we're not finishing like a typical rope pull like this. Okay. Next movement is the exact opposite, and that's the uh, rope push down. You guys have done this a million times. Um, I've done it like not enough because my triceps suck, but they're getting better. Um, focus on keeping again, just like you would for the curl, your body in one position. So don't let your shoulder blades like move all around. Pick a spot, keep your shoulder blades tight, or if you feel more comfortable with your shoulder blades forward, just pick a spot where you're not moving your shoulders. Okay. Bro, what? Why you gotta? Why you wanna bomb me like that, man? What's up, you dude? What up? All right, bro. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna talk to you in a minute. All right, bro. Okay. Now, last but not least, and this is definitely not least, because this is like probably the most important exercise in the whole thing. Okay. Can you agree? Did you remember which one it was? It was a wrist curl. It was a wrist curl. Okay. This is this is. Nah, I'm gonna be frank. Like, I really hate doing these. I do these only because. Uh, I gotta make sure my wrist stays strong. But true, true story. Okay, true story. Go ahead. I used to always drop my deadlifts because I was a weak bitch. And I then did, you did this. I did a week, only a week, and I've never had uh, forearm issues again. I've never dropped a deadlift in my life. Wait, Dude, so you're telling me a week's worth of just, wrist curls? Wrist curls got my fixed you forever. Got my grip strong enough. I don't even fucking believe you. I've never. I don't believe you. I've never dropped an issue. I've never bullshit. had an issue. This is bullshit. That's, That's bullshit. A, if you guys have wrist problems or like you can't hold on to a deadlift and a deadlift. This is true. I agree. But you're telling me one week. Because I've never done it. I, only, I was like, oh, I'm going to do it for a week. And after that, I was like, all right, I'm done. Because I just got bored of it because I never had the issue again. I don't know if I believe you. But I, I put on anything I could. If you guys believe Nadim. Try it out. Test it comment out. Comment below. I mean, yeah. Th you guys are going to do this because it's in the routine. So if you guys see this improving your deadlift grip strength, great. If you could do it for one week and never do it again and it improves it forever, then you're a magician. For grip strength, but not for size. No, you're yeah. a fucking magician, period. Magician, you're a magician. Okay. okay. All right. So anyways, the grip strength, guys, keep it. What I did, you guys see me in the video, keep your shit like locked. Like you shouldn't be like doing this shit here in the air. Put your stuff, like rest your body against something or rest your forearm against something and just keep the movement in your forearm. Squeeze it tight. That's like self-explanatory because like, you know, they know how to, they know what they're doing. Well, if it's a, it's a girl. If it's a girl? Same thing, same thing. Same thing, just use a, uh, <laughs> use like a banana or some shit, I don't know. What? A banana, bro. Just continue, okay. I'm just kidding, no, use a real weight. I'm just kidding, use like a five or a 10. This is not about the weight. You're not trying to grab like 50 pounds and go like this with it. Just grab like 10 pounds, focus on the contraction in, actually in your forearm. Um, and yeah, I just, I hate that exercise, but do it, please. PSA, don't skip um, arm day. Anyways, I'm out. Enjoy the routine. If you guys want, again, if you guys want to purchase the shit like all in whole, so again, because when I'm like talking about it, it's hard to just like say everything that's in that ebook. If you guys want the full thing, link is in the description below. You already know, I'm out. Let's get better together. Uh, and yeah, there's your car, bro. There's my car. Just kidding, that's not my car. I'm out. You should have had me pull up. <laughs> oh, in my other, other car. <laughs>